Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're feeling well and enjoying uh, what sunshine there is available. Hope you've been able to get outside and enjoy some free time um, and that you're all keeping well. Um, what strange times we find ourselves in. Um, I just wanted to keep you updated with our uh, position. Um, follow, I'm sure lots of you will have seen the uh, the Prime Minister's speech last night and will be worried about and wondering about what that means for you and for your, your family, particularly if you've got a child who's in reception year one or year six which seem to be the first year groups that are likely to come back to school um, as part of a phased return. The first thing to say from, from my perspective is that um, the first that we knew about any of the detail of this um, was at the same time as you last night uh, as part of the Prime Minister's speech. This is, this is the nature of that situation, unfortunately. What we have been doing is planning behind the scenes, making sure that we, we had um, our philosophy right to start off with, our morality right, um, so that when we did have to make any decisions, we'd have a, a sort of a moral compass to, to follow. And that revolves entirely around only opening when it's safe to do so, uh, only making sure that um, only to, to make sure that we're keeping your children safe, keeping my staff safe and also making sure that you and your wider families are as, as safe as possible, too. Um, my guarantee to you is that I will always put this first in any decision making that we are um, that we are uh, undertaking. We don't have any further detail. You'd be aware that the full COVID plan for the whole country was only released in paper today. Um, the Prime Minister has been answering questions in, in uh, PMQs today. Um, and so we are now in a position where um, we're awaiting further detail from the government about what their plan is and what the expectations are for schools. As soon as I have that, I'll probably have, I'll have well, I will have some more answers for you uh, and probably to the majority of your questions. But unfortunately, at this point, I can provide very little um, certainty beyond the certainty that we're listening to you, we want to do the right things by you and your family, that we understand that there will be a huge amount of anxiety and uncertainty around this and that we'll help you in every possible way that we can. We're here to help. We're not here to force parents to do anything that they're uncomfortable with or children. We definitely don't want to be in a position where we're um, putting children at risk in any possible way. So all I'd say is please bear with us. Um, let's keep talking. I'll keep putting these videos up for you as I hear more. Um, and if you have any concerns, please do put them across to us at office at redbrookhays.staffs.sch.uk. Uh, we hope to put together a frequently asked questions uh, section upon the, the Corona section of the website. Um, so hopefully you'll have some of your answers there. So perhaps check that as a first point of call. Just to reassure you again, we love you guys. We love the children. We don't want to put anybody in a position where they're uncomfortable or where they're at risk. And we'll do everything we possibly can to support you, your families, through the next phase of this uh, this lockdown period uh, and into um, hopefully what will be the new normal. Um, but yeah, if there's any problems at all, please do get in touch. Bear with us. Bear, bear in mind that we're just we're working with the information that we have, um, but we'll continue to take the decisions that we have to in the very best interest of you and your families. Please take care. Take, keep in touch. Stay safe. And if there's anything at all we can do, just let me know.